I am showing you today how to conserve your sourdough starter. It's actually very easy to do. In order for you to start out, you need a recently fed starter. This is my starter, which I fed four to five hours ago with the same amount of flour and water. After a feeding like that, it should look like this, with a lot of bubbles and very airy structure. In order to start, you need to take 20 grams of sourdough starter and put this on a clean surface. Now you can add 80 to 100 grams of the flour which you usually use for your feeding. In my case, this is rye flour. Now you simply use your hands to combine the flour and the sourdough starter together. This is such an easy procedure and you can just do this within a couple of minutes. You are looking for fine crumbs and you are trying to incorporate all the wet sourdough starter into the flour so there are no wet spots anymore. This may take one or two minutes and you might actually need some extra flour but you're looking for a ratio from one to four to one to five of the original amount of the sourdough starter. As you can see, I definitely needed some extra flour, but I did not measure mine out. I have done this a couple of times already because I sometimes give this to friends who want to start working with sourdough. This is exactly the texture that you're going for. You're looking for fine crumbs with a couple of larger pieces. Those are totally okay and those can stay the way they are. No need to make finer crumbs out of these. Now you can evenly spread this out so it can dry properly. You simply need to cover this up with a clean cloth for 24 hours. After drying it at room temperature, the look does not change at all and now you can simply store this in a clean glass jar for later use. This is like my insurance of the sourdough starter because even if mine would go bad for some reason I could still reactivate my own sourdough starter at any time. This will hold in the fridge for months to come. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to reactivate this so you can bake with this again.